Hi, welcome back. With the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 30th Anniversary Special once and always just around the corner, I decided to remake the Dino Megazord out of wood. I already have the blue Triceratops and the yellow Sabertooth Tiger Zords complete. Today's focus is going to be the Tyrannosaurus, which was the Red Ranger Zord. So go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and I'm going to get started. I'm looking at all the different parts that I have to make here. Legs with joints at the knees, a tail, little arms that go up, and a head. Now the body also has a lot of different tabs and slots and things like that. Once I have all the Zords done and I'm ready to combine them, I'm going to worry about how everything connects together. The most important piece that I'm going to have to make here is the torso and also the head and how those work together. So everything connects into the torso, but then the way that this head works is the chest, front of the chest folds out and then the Tyrannosaurus head folds down, revealing the Megazord head. I'm going to be designing mine a little bit differently. The torso is going to be a Y shape. And in that slot of the Y, I'm going to have a rectangle piece that on one side has the Megazord head and the other side has the dinosaur head. And then that piece will be able to pull out, turn around, and slide back down into the slot. I have that basic Y shape cut out with the slot and a rectangle piece with the heads. Uh, dinosaur head on one side and the other side when you flip it will be the Megazord head, which my design does not look anything like the Megazord head at all. That might be something that I correct in a later project, but for now it is what it is. So here I have to build out the chest to conceal the dinosaur head or the megazord head when it's in the chest and so I'm just using some pieces of wood there to make like a little box uh, around the Y shape. next step is to create these legs. They are basic. Uh, it's a two-piece leg jointed at the knee. The foot is on an angle, so I'll have some angle wood pieces to be the foot. And then on that knee joint is going to be a little dowel, which will then later on be used to connect into the yellow and blue zords for the feet of the Megazord. The legs are now complete, and I am happy that it is standing, given that I have such a large chest on the front to conceal the head. I thought it would be top-heavy or front-heavy there, but the legs work and it stands. So what's left now? We have to make the tail, which will be able to move up and down, and we also have to make the Tyrannosaurus arms, which also need to be able to go all the way up. Okay, arms and tail are now in place. It's looking good. 
it's matching the original, uh, which is nice. So all we have to do now is paint. I am now finally complete with my red Tyrannosaurus Zord. It came out pretty nice for the most part. All the moving parts work the way they're supposed to. The tail goes up, the legs bend back, revealing the pegs. The little arms go up, my head slides in and out. The only thing that I don't like on this is the way that I did the Megazord head. It just isn't right at all. It doesn't look like it's supposed to. It's too small, it doesn't have the right shape. It's just bad. I should have used other pieces of wood to make it a little bit bigger give it more of a shape instead of just using a flat piece and trying to paint the face on there. So I didn't do a good job on the head. But other than that, it came out exactly the way that I want it to. And so here it is alongside my blue and yellow Zord. So next time I'm going to make the black Mastodon Zord and uh, then eventually the Pterodactyl and then I'll work on putting them all together. But for now that's it. So go ahead and like and subscribe this video and watch next time when I make that black Zord.